Hey everybody, it's Blobgoom de Blob. Welcome back to another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, we found Paula locked away in a uh, cabin shack here. In this episode, we are going to go and uh, fight Carpenter, Carpenter rather. Um, off camera, I did a little bit of stuff. I sent some stuff over to the uh, uh, what's his name, Escargo Express dude. So that we can get the uh, Franklin badge. And this. So, let's uh, go. Pokey, what are you doing here? Hey, Ness. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey now. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism, you should join us. But I know. But you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. So he six a bunch of um weak people on us. Kill the crow. But Master Pokey, huh? Alright, I'm gonna cut out the rest of this fight. Okay. Pokey, you get back here at this instant, young man. And he's gone. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So Pokey's no longer an Onet. Which begs the, the question is, how did he get out? And to answer that question, I am going to go make... Actually, I'm going to go heal up and then I'm going to make my way to um, Onet. And if I find anything interesting, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to cut this out. Alright, so I found an opportunity to get this present. There's a couple of life noodles inside. That's the stake. Uh, basically what it does is uh, fully revives a member of your party from being dead. Which is a useful item to have coming up in the next bit of the game. Okay guys, we're back in front of Ma uh, Pokey's house. Let's go tell... Or let's go look and see where his parents are, because I'm sure they're worried sick about him. Huh. They're not here. Maybe they went upstairs? Okay. So here's the hint guy. And now I've never seen the hint between fighting Pokey and fighting Mr. Carpenter, so... I figured I'd take a look and see what, it, what he has to say. This is my business, so I'm happy to have customers, but don't you know this is a crisis? You shouldn't be wasting time here. Anyways, I'll keep your 35. Wow. What an ass. Okay, that was a tremendous waste of time. Hold on. As you can see, my screen keeps flashing red. That's because I caught a cold. Um, and every time it flashes red, that means I lost 4 HP worth of damage, uh, health. So, the reason why I'm saying that that was a waste of time was because, for some reason, even though I remember seeing it on a playthrough, I could not find, um, I could not find Pokey's father. And I remember seeing him during one of my playthroughs. Uh, one of my first, my first playthrough, actually. God, I was such a kid then. Anyways, um, the f my first playthrough. It's really interesting. It was um one of those things where. I didn't know what I was doing, so every single area took me at least a week to do. And then I got stuck in three for, um, I got stuck in three for a month. Literally, I couldn't figure out, hold on. Yeah, um, yeah, I was stuck in three for a month. I couldn't figure out how to um, progress the story until I lent my game 
to a friend of mine who uh, told me, or who had the internet rather, and he showed me how to progress my game after getting to three. So this room is um, really interesting. All of these uh, guys that say, like, are no problem. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that guy was not one. All right, and we leveled. We are now level 19. Offense went up by two. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP went up by one. Maximum PP went up by three. We are way overpowered for this upcoming fight. But, as I was trying to say is, the reason why they were able to get away with doing this without all the sprite limitations is that most of these guys are just part of a background. The ones you could talk to will be able to move out of your way like they move slightly faster like uh, the guy that's right there diagonally from me. He's moving slightly faster and out of pace so he would move over. Blue blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard it. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Blue blue. You strange unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. So we're going. We're about to go take on Mr. Carpenter, who is um. Well, he's evil. Or well, not evil. I mean, with a name like Carpenter, um, kind of. I don't know. Let's talk to you. I. I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Okay, cool. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? No! If you won't be my right hand, my life would be just fine. I'm just kidding. Your assistance, your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me, and I'll end your pitiful game. Very important. You need the Franklin badge in order to progress this fight. Now, I'm going to just defend. Mainly because this guy likes to use lightning based attacks. And uh, let's see here. Oh, he has life help alpha. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever actually seen him use a life up alpha. You can also use the paint attack. Come on. Uh, that lightning attack is similar to, um... Oh, crap. Well, he's using a PSI shield, so we're going to have to, um... Hit him with our bat, because if he actually uses his crashing boom attack, it's going to hit us instead. Oh, thank God. Now, lightning is a kind of finicky attack. It will attack like alpha attacks once, beta attacks twice, uh, gamma will attack three times, and omega will attack four times. Now, it will... Uh, how do I explain this? If you break up the... For as many people are on the other side or on the field, it will randomly hit one of those people. So the more people on the field, the higher the chance is to be for it to hit. However, the less uh, the less people on the field, the you guys know what I mean. Let's go save Paula. 
And these guys are back to normal. And I'm not going to worry about the packages. I don't have any space in my inventory. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Ha! I lied. See you, sucker. So, yeah. We're going to grab Paula. And before we leave this area, now it is optional. This is one of the few ones that you can actually do uh, later on. But I think it will be a good idea to to uh, go explore that cave that couldn't be painted blue. Besides, we want to do that to uh, get Paula up some levels and stuff. Because if I remember correctly, she starts off at level 1. Paula joins you. And she has a teddy bear, which is awesome. It's going to make everything a little bit easier. What else will make everything a little bit easier is that she has no equips at the moment. She has a bread roll and a teddy bear. So we're going to go buy some equips. Alright, so she starts off with, you know, basic stats and stuff. But she already knows. Oh, wait. I thought she did know. She already knows PSI uh, Freeze Alpha, which that is a glass cannon move. I'm going to have the uh, Escargo Express person pick up some stuff that I don't uh, need. So, I'm actually saving my luck capsule for uh, somebody else that we don't have in the party yet. And then we won't need the pencil eraser until much later in the game. Freeze Alpha. This is a new enemy. It's a mole playing rough. They can make themselves feel strange, which... I don't think I actually showed it, but basically it just makes them uh, more likely to target themselves in battle. Uh, they can scratch, they can bite. Ness and Paula gained 228 experience points each. Paula's level is now 2. Offense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Maximum PP went up by 1. Paula's level is now 3. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 4. Paula realized the power of PSI Fire Alpha. Paula's level is now 4, offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, luck went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 1, maximum PP went up by 5, Paula's level is now 5, speed went up by 1, <laughs> maximum HP went up by 3, maximum PP went up by 2. <sighs> okay, so, that was fun. Let's see here. Hey, another mole playing rough. PSI. We'll use another freeze on him. She's still not faster than the uh, moles yet. So. Eventually, she'll get to the point where she will be the fastest um, character in your party. Okay. Let's see how many levels we get now. Oh, you guys couldn't see that, but I was wiggling my eyebrows. Paula le Paula's level is now 6. Offense went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. We know what that means. She's going to get a huge boost in um, HP. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 8. 
Maximum PP went up by three. Paula realized the power of PSI Shield Alpha. Very useful for later in the game. Um, let's see here. Another mole. Hi, mole. Molly. Paula is now level seven. Offense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP went up by three. Maximum PP went up by five. There's a great charm inside. Ness takes it. Now the great charm, we will move it over to Paula's. Um, we'll give that to Paula. If I remember correctly, it also adds in, it's the same thing as the travel charm, but it adds a little bit of defense to it. Yeah, she gets a little bit more defense, which will be good because, you know, this is a cave. Molly, 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 Molly! Okay, so with that last level, uh, she started going first up before the moles, which is a good thing. That means um, our glass cannon te technique is going to be really start coming into fruition here. Paula's level is now eight. Offense went up by one, defense went up by one, speed went up by two, guts went up by two, maximum HP went up by three, maximum PP went up by one. Paula realized the power of PSI Thunder Alpha. All right, we're back at the fork in the road. Let's go check up and see what's over here. We've seen some things that we haven't actually fought yet. So, like that bear right there, for example. Ooh, mole. Molly, 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 molly. Now, Paula's level is now nine. Offense went up by one. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP went up by one. Maximum PP went up by four. We are getting levels left and right. New enemies! And we got a surprise attack. This is awesome. We engage Mr. Batty and its cohorts. Here's a chance for a surprise opening attack. We're going to bash him, and we're going to hit him with fire. I don't remember if they're weak to fire or not. Yeah, close enough. We'll attack. Um, the Mr. Baddies are actually pretty easy. Wow, Paula could swing a frying pan hard. Okay, we gained 304. Ness is now level 20. Oh baby. Offense went up by three, guts went up by two. Oh baby. Vitality went up, oh wow. By three, that means we're going to get a huge, huge boost in um, HP. See, 38. Ness realized the power of life of beta. Which is good because we'll probably end up needing that probably going into the uh, fight coming up. Okay. Oh. For this fight I'm going to go all out because Paula doesn't know her... Um, she doesn't know her um, beta form of fra uh, freeze yet. Thing I scratched with its claws. Oh, hey, the teddy bear finally took damage. So the bears are a bit tough. They are... And as I say that, it dies instantly. Okay. And we did that with taking no damage. That's good. Ness and Paula gained 533 experience points each. Paula is now level 10. Offense went up by one, IQ went up by one, maximum HP went up by three, maximum PP went up by five. Come on, Paula. Uh, we don't need that. Do we have anything that heals? Uh, we do not, okay. Ah, but we do have a magic butterfly right now. Magic butterfly, 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 butterfly.
<laughs> Looks like they have a conga line going over there. That's funny. And let's go ahead and hit up one more magic butterfly if we can get it to spawn. The game becomes a whole lot easier. Um, come on, where's the magic butterfly? There you are. Who's been a bad butterfly? Hmm? Who's been a bad butterfly? How's Paula looking? Nice, she's maxed. Oh wow, she only needs one more experience point to level. <laughs> That's funny. Bear! This attack. Or this uh, fight. Paula's level is now 11. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. Maximum PP went up by 5. Paula realized the power of PSI Freeze Beta. Now that is what we were looking for. That that one skill right there will make um, the upcoming fight a breeze. Ness, you take care of that. Paula, take care of the bear. Just to show how deadly this particular uh, PSI skill is, I'm going to have her use it on the bear. Two hundred and thirty-nine damage to the mighty bear. The mighty bear became tame. Now, if we could get this up to what was it, twenty-five, before we made it to the next boss, uh, he would also have his the beta form of Rockin, which is kind of a bit cheap, if you ask me. Okay, they gained some experience points. Uh, come on. Now let's open up this. There is a PSI caramel inside. Let's take it. Now that is good because we can probably use it. Um, PSI caramels are one of the few items in the game that will um, recover your um, uh, PP points. Okay, let's do this. We still have the teddy bear, which means this fight should be fairly easy. Take it from me, if you dare. Alright. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything behind him. We'll use PSI Rockin'. And Paula, I want you to use... Freeze beta. And if Paula can act. Oh, God, no. Okay. So, as you saw, he resisted. Oh, no, the teddy bear. He resisted pretty heavy. Heavily. On, um. That attack. Which means. Let's see here, let's try fire. There's going to be an element that he is um, weak to. Wow, that was lucky as hell. PSI, life up beta, Paula, Paula. Must be uh, thunder, but it didn't hit anybody. Okay. Nest touch quickly. Good job. Let's go ahead and use Rockin. Paula, just bash. Wow. Ouch. 75 from that. Okay. Um, PSI. Let's have him recover himself. Paula, bash again. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's. Oh my. Okay. You know what? Let's try another thunder. 
because we didn't see what kind of damage and we still didn't see. Alright, so psychic shields. They will block literally every type of psychic attack. However, it will not block thunder. Or it doesn't block thunder. I don't remember. This fight is definitely not going favorably. He is raising his offense by a lot. Okay, keep using thunder. Eventually one of them will get through, I hope. Oh. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're going to use life up alpha on Ness and Paula keep trying to hit him with thunder damn it the one time we hit and he had a shield up okay so Paula is still a bit weak no Oh, she died. And... Oh, are you kidding me? PSI... Bash him. PSI... No. Goods. Bread roll. Paula. He should be almost dead. Woo! So the reason why I tried to keep Paula alive was because of this huge insane amount of experience points. Ness is now level 21. Defense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 1. Paula's level is now 12. Oh baby, offense went up by 4. Oh baby, speed went up by 3. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 2, maximum PP went up by 5, Paula's level is now 13, maximum HP up went up by 2, maximum PP went up by 2, well, that was a good couple levels for Paula. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's sound zone recorded the melody of Lilliput, little pup, Lilliput footsteps. And just like before, we got a full heal. And just like before, all of the monsters in this cave will now be terrified of us. Run! Run! Run, fatty! Okay guys, welcome back to Happy Happy Village, but on this note, we are going to cut it here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please ring that bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit Smash that subscribe button to join the Blob Army. And in the next episode, we will head back to Tucson. You guys have a wonderful night. 